Hello everyone. In this demo, we are looking at this program called Guess My Lucky Number, which combines all the skills you've been learning over the unit. So we have a variable called Lucky, assign the number 13. We have an output, can you guess my lucky number? We have an input, stores the guess or assigns the guess, in, what the user types in into the guess variable. And we're going to convert that input into an integer, so it's a number as well. We then use selection to compare what the user guesses, what they type in, to the lucky variable, which has 13 in it. And if they're the same, that's what the double equals means, we're going to output amazing you guessed it. Otherwise, we're going to output, sorry, no. Um, and then finally, we're going to output the message, nice play. This program would be much more user-friendly if it let us have multiple attempts at our um, our guess. At the moment, it just has one, it lets us have one guess here, and it tells us if we got it right or if we got it wrong, and then it says goodbye. So what we're going to do here is look at how to extend that so that it repeats the bit of the code that lets us guess. And the tricky part of this is that we're going to need a loop, but the, the really difficult bit normally when you're thinking about using loops is deciding which part of the code needs repeating. So I'm going to go through it a line at a time and think about that. Do I need to repeat putting 13 into the lucky variable? No, I don't. Do I need to repeat outputting the message, can you guess my lucky number, and letting the user have a guess? Well, yes, I do, because um, every time they get it wrong, I want it to go back and um, give them another go. So what I'm going to do, now I've found the first part of the code that I want to repeat, is I'm going to put a loop above it. Before I do that, though, I'm going to use a variable called um, something like correct store false. We're going to use this variable to decide whether we are going to loop again or not. So here, my loop's going to start here above the output that asks the user to guess. So while correct is equal to false. That means while they haven't got the right answer. On line two of the program, when we're running it in order, they haven't guessed yet. So they, they won't have the right answer yet. So we'll set the correct variable to be false there. I've started my loop and I need to indent all of the code that wants to go in there. So I want to give to keep them guessing like that. And I want to give them the correct or incorrect message, so I'm indenting that as well, if they get it right or wrong, like so. I don't want to keep looping nice play with you. I want that to happen at the very end. So by not indenting it, that means it won't run line 13 here and output that message until the loop has finished. And the loop will only run while correct is false. So there's one thing I need to do now because I can go into the loop because correct is false by the time I get to line four, but I need to break the loop and get out of that loop by making that condition incorrect. So I need to change the correct variable when they get the answer right. So I'm going to do that here in the selection for if they get the answer right. If their guess is the same as the lucky number, Amazing, you guessed it. I'm going to change correct here. True. That means when it goes back up to the loop again, it's not going to be false. So that's going to break the loop, and it's going to skip all the way from line 4 down to line 14, which is the next line that's not indented, and it will run that instead. Now, that's quite tricky code to follow, so we're going to run that a line at a time with fast debug. Run debug current script faster. And we'll see our variables change at the top here. Line one puts 13 in the variable lucky. Line two puts false in the correct variable. 
while correct is equal to false, or correct is equal to false, so we're going into here. Can you guess my lucky number? There it is. And now it's getting my input, so you'll see it's waiting for me there. So I'm going to get it wrong first and test the loop. Let's guess seven. Press enter. Okay. It stored seven in my guess. If guess is equal to lucky, or guess is seven, lucky is 13, so they aren't the same. So it's going to jump to the going to jump to the else. Yep, and it's outputting, sorry, it's not my guess. Now it's gone back up here. Is correct still false? Yes, it is. So we're going to go into that loop again. Print, can you guess my lucky number? Um, let's guess three. Hang on a sec. There we go, I need to do it there. Press enter. If guess is equal to lucky, well, guess has changed to be three. Lucky is 13. They're not the same. So it's done the else again. Sorry, it's not three down here in our shell. And it's gone back up here again. Is correct still false? Yes, correct is still false. So we're going into that loop again. Right, I'm going to get it right this time. Can you guess my lucky number? Guess is input. So let's guess 13. Press enter. Comparing guess to lucky. There's guess. There's lucky. It's comparing them. They are the same. So it's going to go into this branch here on line nine print amazing you guessed it so that should pop out here and then it's going to change the correct variable to be true like that now it goes back up and checks if it's going to run the loop again it's running while correct is false correct is now true so it will skip all this indented code in the loop and go down to line 14 and print nice playing with you so that was how I used a loop to repeat this can you guess my lucky number bit until the user got the right answer by having a variable called correct, which was set to false, and only changing it to true in the selection branch where they got the right answer.